Mexican court issue 83 arrest warrant related to disappearance of 43 students. A court in Mexico on Friday ordered the arrest warrant of 83 people allegedly involved in the 2014 disappearance of 43 students, and prosecutor's office said in a statement. The order were issues against 20 military commanders and troops personnel from Balotins, 27 and 41 in the city of Iguala, as well as five administrative and judicial authorities from the state of Guero, 26 police officers from Hutsuko, six from Iguala and one from Colula, plus 11 state police from Guero Unidos criminal groups, the statement said. The group is accused of organized crime, forced disappearance, torture, homicide and crimes against administrations of justice, the prosecutor's office said. The prosecutor's office did not identify those allegedly involved and only added that both the arrest and the accusation in each case will be discussed in the corresponding criminal process. As of Saturday afternoon, the institution had not made a public statement on the arrest warrant. CNN asked them for comments, and they have not responded. The students had been visiting the southwestern city of Iguala from a teacher college in Antonapa when their buses were intercepted by local police and the federal military force in September 2014. Exactly what happened after remained unknown since most of the missing students were never found. But bullet-ridded blesses were later seen in the city streets with shatters, window, and blood. Survivor from the original groups of 100 said their buses had been stopped by armed police officers and soldiers who suddenly opened fire. The case indicated international outrage. The judge's decisions Friday was released hours after the former Attorney General of Mexico, Jesus Murillo Caram, was also arrested in the relation to the disappearance. Murillo Calam led the state's investigation into the disappearance. The prosecutor office said it considered him as a suspect of the crime of forced disappearance, torture and against administration of justice in the Azonipa case. The former Attorney General's arrest and the issuance of the arrest warrant took place a day after the Government Truth Commission present a report concluding the disappearance of the students was a crime of state in which member of the Guerrero Unidos criminal groups and agents from various institutions of the Mexican states participated. Mexico's Under Secretary for Human Rights, Populations and Migrations, Alejandro Asina, said. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador said on Friday that the government will continue to work to capture those involved in the crime and find out what exactly happened to the missing students. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.